So welcome uh, to our friends, to all people interested in our uh, series of live stream uh, output. It's uh, the number 13. It's the first one is English. So uh, because uh, our guest today is uh, uh, Chongwa uh, G. Sigeti, an artist from Budapest, but I could say uh, working worldwide. And um, we saw a video with two of his uh, site-specific works at Scharfhof. Uh, we are the European Center uh, of, for Art Upper Bavaria, the artist house of the District Council of Upper Bavaria from the Bezirk Oberbayern. And uh, we are uh, involved with artist residency programs and we have exhibition spaces here and the way great, nice uh, surrounding, what we saw before. And uh, yeah, Chongor took part uh, in our first, as an artist resistance project in 2013, the first one what uh, uh, I could organize here. Uh, Chongor is born uh, 1980 in Chik Sereda, and he lives and works normally in Budapest, but he travels a lot. So just uh, for a short introduction, you studied at the Art Academy in uh, Budapest and you are now teaching at the art school in Eger in northeast uh, Hungary. But I thought you are traveling a lot, a lot. you are uh, doing exhibition and uh, artist and residency stays uh, all over the world and quite uh, often. Uh, situation now is uh, like most of us. Uh, you are in Budapest at your studio, would we see? And uh, yeah, so welcome. I'm very happy that you are here with us. Hello, everybody. Great. And I'm happy here, and I'm happy that my artwork is, uh, I could send it and arrived well for the exhibition, you know, in these circumstances. Yeah, it was uh, great for us as well. It was. Uh, renewed uh, for our anniversary. Uh, it's the 15 years of uh, the Center of Art uh, and it's 200 years of the building Schafhof, what means sheep uh, yard. And uh, so not by chance I would say uh, that uh, we saw or we got the artwork by you that is a sheep. And of course uh, to say to, to tell a bit about the the, the story, uh, so and I would like to ask as well you uh, how you got the idea. So you were here for one month. You were uh, in the residency here at Schafhof in Upper Bavaria, southern of Germany, and we in the framework of our European uh, Art Fellowship program, and uh, yeah, so you like everybody came here looked around, me met the other artists and started to, to work. So maybe we can start with that and then uh, in the second part I also would like to talk about your work, artwork in general because it's a very, very multi-layered, interesting, uh, uh, interdisciplinary work. But the first time when we, we really met, it was uh, really in, in 2013 at uh, the Center of Art. Yeah, um, yeah. I, I have very nice memories from from that times, and uh, um, I think it was my my first uh, uh, residency in Germany. Um, and uh, mm, uh, when I got to know that uh, this place it's, uh, it was um, a kind of uh, merino sheep's uh, place, like it was like. They were until the 1960s, like I found animals uh, living there, and now the artists occupied their place. Uh, and as as I was, I, and if I go to some residencies, I never made any plan before I go there because uh, I I really would like to have the inspiration of the place and uh, not have anything in my mind to go there with a clear mind. And it was in this situation also. And um, uh, 
Yeah, all the other guys were really knowing what they are doing, who were at the residency, and they were uh, telling me, oh, I'm doing this plan, I'm doing that, oh, it will be so nice. And yeah, I didn't have a plan, so I was a little bit uh, like, uh, you know, in a, in a stress in the night. And, uh, and I was like just laying on the bed and, and just, just, just thinking about these, these ships who were there and now we artists are occupying their place. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and I was also thinking how many animals could be, uh, uh, have, have, you know, how many generations of animals have been there uh, and uh, they, they are dead already and, uh, and uh, maybe their soul has gone somewhere or maybe their soul is still there. So, you know, it was a really strange, I was in a really strange uh, state of mind, uh, yeah. And, um, and then I was, I was uh, starting to think about them as maybe they, they could come back sometime. Uh, because I was really like missing them, you know, so I was like, as I have seen the, the old photos, uh, they were, um, so it, it was really suitable for that, uh, that area that there were ships there around and it was a ship farming uh, place and um, yeah, so then I was thinking, okay, if they would come back, what kind of form they would have uh, to, to, to come back. Uh, there and I was also thinking maybe they will come back. They would be very aggressive, maybe killing the artists <laughs> or, or something like this. So, so you know, my uh, my thinking was uh, in a very strange dystopias or utopias uh, how they would come back. And um, yeah, and then it came to my mind that that they could be a kind of uh, uh, soldiers or they could be. A, uh, kind of, um, mm, uh, let's say, like um, like uh, uh, explorers. So it's it's not a total army of 500 that are coming back or more, but they are coming back only just a few exploring that what is there at their their place. And um, as I've seen uh, different. Um, uh, so I, I have some memories also about the. Uh, about the medieval uh, horses, how they look like, they had some shield and it, and it came to my mind that maybe they should have this shield because they are kind of warriors. And on the other hand, I, I knew that the soldiers uh, were bringing, like nowadays, they are bringing with themselves uh, this um, foil, uh, this uh, heat foil or heat protection foil and, uh, and like that, I was thinking that I would make their shape like that and then have this, uh, this spoil on them. And uh, that would um, look uh, quite strange. And I wanted to install them quite far away. So they were not installed in the Schaffhof uh, garden, but they were installed, uh, installed outside of the garden. Like they would somehow come from a distant uh, place, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, so so these forerunners or explorers, they were the twelve. Yeah, maybe I can take over because uh, Chongo has frozen for a moment. In the original uh, setting, it was twelve sheep. Yeah. behind the fences of the Schaf so, of Gaz, but now you came back, okay, you can continue. So there were 12 pieces in the original, so I've seen you here working on 12 pieces, 12 sculptures, which was quite a big work for uh, this one month staying. And actually, uh, just to give an idea for for the uh, listeners, for the viewers, that uh, the artist didn't really lived in the stable part of the Schafhof of the building. So there are parts beside which was always uh, thought for the, for the workers. But the stable part is there where now the uh, exhibition space in the ground floor and the coffee is situated. So 
people yeah. were there where like you told where the sheep were before and uh, i liked it mm -hmm. very much to see that you started to think and to work because the residency in a way is open so we always tell there's no uh, need to produce something so you, it's just it's mm -hmm. as well a time to think a free time but uh, it works always very well people come here and if they don't need to do something they really start quickly to to uh, work to start to work to prepare work and so on so it was uh, nice to see that it uh, was the same in your uh, case and uh, in the beginning, I was a bit afraid because I thought, oh, that's a bit simple thought to have a sheep yard building and you make a sheep. So I was a bit critical <laughs> and we talked about and uh, but I liked the idea to get it a bit uh, other context and to think to the future the same way like to the past and uh, to have a kind of match of uh, this future and past here in our uh, uh, days and uh, on the space where we are so uh, actually and, and it is a very nice we can speak about uh, the form itself it was a really nice uh, contemporary sculptural form so it was not just the sheep so also the way how you did it and how the form in the end the form uh, became was uh, really uh, great in, in my opinion as well uh, and that's why as well, actually we try as we, we used it in a kind of a symbol for our anniversary uh, what we have what we celebrate this year because it really combines the contemporary creativity uh, together with the history so we have for example the area yeah, and it is part of the exhibition and the kind of symbol for the exhibition what we have in a moment until end of august uh, it's called new beginners and uh, so your sheep is here on the front cover of our uh, little book as well. Uh, and of course, everybody is invited uh, to come to see the exhibition with historical images and contemporary artworks. Very nice, you just frozen with your both hands up. I hope uh, you will uh, continue <laughs> a little bit later. Okay, now so it, it, we talked a lot. It was nice to, to have this idea of uh, uh, something what uh, went through a, a transformation in a way from the old practical historical facts to the mind of an artist uh, to kind of uh, future uh, utopia so um, yeah. that was one thing but then there were a lot of uh, hard work i uh, could uh, see yeah, that yeah, during exactly. the time Exactly. I, I, um, I was um, making documentations and research about uh, the exact uh, shape and uh, size of these uh, merino ships. And, um, and they were kept because they had a very fine quality wooden, but they were also strangers there because they were not German kind, they were Spanish. <laughs> so, you know, it was so strange because this, this kind of, uh, you know, multi-layered uh, yeah, thing yeah. that they were also uh, not locals uh, there. And then after that, you know, they disappear and also come some new new generation of, uh, of ships. And, um, yeah, so they, they, I, and then I started to, to build with the exact uh, sizes uh, a very simple formed uh, wire frame, which was a metallic uh, frame. I was, I was welding them, and, uh, and uh, there were two kinds. Uh, one, one of them, uh, they were uh, kind of like, you know, like uh, looking and uh, really exploring. And the other ones, they were like going a little bit down, like with their nose on the, on the, on the ground, maybe eating grass, so we don't know. So doing something like that. Um, and, and yeah, and first uh, they were in 2013, they were covered uh, with this uh, rescue foil. And uh, as the also as as it, uh, it was moved by the wind, it was it has a really nice effect on how the the, the shining uh, was going on with the reflections of the sun. And uh, but after that, um, yeah, so it was meant to be there for a few months. Uh, but um, yeah, so the, the the sun and the UV. Um, in, in after some time, they they got uh, decomposed. So then uh, we found a new foil 
for them, and that was the, the second uh, generation of the of the spaceships, and uh, that was a kind of agricultural movie standing uh, mirror foil, uh, and it was much stronger, so it gave a little bit other form of the for the for the ships. And that was also a good experience for me because it became even more simple the form, and then I really uh, started to like that that thing. And um, but uh, in a few years, also this agricultural very very strong mirror foil somehow it just uh, uh, could not stand the the sun and also the the winter because because they were outside in the, in the winter also in minus. And, uh, and, and like that, then we started to talk about uh, how we could uh, make them in a, in a more uh, strong way that it would stay there for, for a longer time. And yeah. then I developed this form and I made it more even simple. And uh, I have to say, uh, maybe you know this series, uh, BBC series on, on um, Netflix, which is the back door. The what? Yeah. Sorry, which one? There, there are some uh, futuristic dogs uh, in, in one of the... I think it's, it's called that film's blockhead or something like this. And, uh, and, and yeah, then after that became this also like an, like an inspiration for me. Yeah, those are a little bit out of form, but, um, but, but, but somehow remember me of that. And uh, what I really liked in, in my work that uh, uh, usually we are we you know the nice and kind animal who are not okay you are frozen again a little bit of, of strength sorry so yeah you, you we, we missed something of that maybe I take the opportunity and tell our viewers that in the background there are the original uh, um, frames from the original sculptures and you see both uh, types the one with the yes. head up and uh, the one with the head and two ones with the head down just to have an idea because it also looks very nice in this empty form it like really like a kind of 3d uh, simulation in real so i liked it already when when I saw it, uh, and we even spoke about, do we really put something on it or not? Uh, but yeah. then uh, it came out, it looked very, very nice and, and great. Uh, yeah, and that was also one of our first pieces for uh, our sculpture garden. So with this work, we started to build up uh, artworks in public space around uh, our building in the garden of Schafhof and uh, with all kind of different techniques and uh, di different artworks but all of them in a way connected to Schafhof and to the past, uh, to the actual function, to the people and so on and uh, to the surrounding of course. And uh, so that was a very good uh, starting point and even uh, if you had so much work with this uh, Sheep and I know that we uh, got the welting machine and you were there for hours and nights and whatever welting this uh, wires together to such a really uh, amazing form. You did another work as well, what we saw in the beginning in the video with these plates on the way uh, up to, uh, to Schafhof, uh, what is called uh, uh, that the, the, uh, the, process. How is it? The, the process, product. the process is the product and it's still there uh, as well. So we try to keep these few artworks we, we uh, wanted to, to uh, have in the sculpture garden. And uh, uh, also from the 12 sheep, we bought five pieces in the end because we didn't have more money. And uh, uh, anyway, so it was already a good price and I was happy that we could achieve them to keep them here. So in the so it in the years later uh, on it was uh, uh, there were five pieces I think three with the head up two with the head down and now with the reconstruction and a kind of uh, yeah for me it's a kind of reconstruction but also a, a new building like you thought so it 
uh, yeah, shifted yeah, so a little the, bit. Rethinking the original yeah. again, but it, uh, the spirit uh, stayed, and even so, it has a so it really looks uh, amazing, uh, and uh, uh, so I think it it won uh, uh, during the process of your uh, uh, renewing it, rethinking it. And uh, in the, so in, this, in the near future, I will see. So in the near future, we have uh, first three pieces of them here on the spot. Uh, actually, my heart is a bit uh, full of pain to think about to have this nice sheep outside again <laughs> because it's so great to have it there close to us. And uh, uh, in a way, uh, I feel uh, they are the three, three ones. Uh, in the way I feel that I would like to protect them. So, because they are yeah. fragile in one way, they are fragile, but I know that they are much more stable now, but the, the, uh, the look of that is really this between very fragile, like almost like a spirit or like an alien, what you told yeah, me before. Or like a glass or, or like a glass. glass or and, yeah, but uh, so we don't have that much time anymore because we are uh, try to limit it and stop at the best point, but maybe we are not at the best point yet. So I would like to talk about uh, your other works a little bit as well, or your your uh, strategy of your artistic work. You told a little bit when you come, when you go somewhere, and that's, I think, an important part of your work to, to travel, to do something in other countries. Then you look around and you try to work with the uh, with the surrounding, with the people. I remember uh, installation or even kind of performance installation in India, for example. So maybe you can talk a little by a bit uh, about your basic idea of artwork or how did you get to the way you work uh, with all kind of materials uh, as you do now. Okay, we have a little, so now you came back. Okay, good. Yes, yes, now I'm, I'm back. Yeah, all right. Yeah, so um, um, uh, first of all, uh, in a high school, I was, I was uh, attending sculpture. And uh, after that, I was going to, to graphics, graphics department at the Hungarian University of Fine Arts because I wanted to study something new. And somehow, like this, I always uh, try to, to, to get uh, the most out of a situation. I could learn new things. So not, not only doing an artwork, but uh, learning new materials, learning new technology, or, or, or something else. And then, uh, like that, I get the feedback also from the materials and the, the technology. And like that, I can develop in another way uh, my ideas. So, um, so um, I would really like this kind of um, uh, interaction uh, with, uh, also with the, with the, with the place, uh, with the people from there. And uh, what I did in, uh, in India was a, a sound work, uh, kind of a performative and community-based uh, sound work. Uh, I didn't work uh, with sound before of that. And, uh, and what I realized in India that it was a very uh, heavy pollution of, uh, of the, of the horns on the street of the car horns and uh, and uh, like that uh, I, I built a machine which uh, which can uh, make music uh, but only uh, made out of different horns which you can get in the in the in the, in the shops and people could, could use it like uh, like um, uh, I don't know like making a symphony of the street uh, or something like this and also I could perform with, uh, with that kind of uh, piece. Um, yeah, so people maybe can find on on the website. It's called uh, uh, Horn so What is Horn Dog? Uh, right? no. Like, but, okay. Okay. no, no, okay, so yeah, yeah. So I also work uh, with the metallic mirrors. Like in, uh, I was in uh, 2010, I think, and then after in 2012 in South Korea, also for a residency. Uh, of the Deja Museum of Art and the Yatu Group. And uh, there I have done uh, uh, some uh, mirrored, mirrored art, artwork kind of uh, scopes. It's not really a kaleidoscope because it has a lot of mirrors, so more mirrors 
uh, inside and, and they were hanged in a, in a national park. It was kind of a protected area, uh, um, like, a, yeah, so it was a natural, natural uh, place. And people could, could go there and uh, make uh, footages with, the, with their uh, cameras or, or any device um, like there. And um, uh, not too long time ago, 2018, I was invited for the, in, in Japan for a, a Echigo Tsumari Art Triennale. And there I built uh, another series, uh, one, one of work from another series, which is called uh, Human Traps. And on, in those artworks, I, I uh, usually take the form of a, of a mouse trap and make it bigger as a human size. But after that, I again um, uh, change the form. Like I had one piece in, in which I made an auto portrait uh, like a trap. And I was climbing into it, <laughs> into, into my own head, so something like this. So this maybe these uh, three uh, uh, artworks, they show that I'm really thinking in uh, many different uh, uh, ways. Or yeah. yeah, yeah, but still there's also this, uh, this basic uh, uh, curiosity, what I feel. So uh, very much in a visual uh, Way, but also like you told with sound, with forms, with volumes. So we are uh, and to try to give people the, the possibility to experience something. So uh, for example, yeah, exactly. these ones with the with the mirrors when you saw through this uh, setup or to this object, and you could see the others, but uh, in this kind of color kaleidoscope way, or uh, when you really can use it, go in it and. So, uh, is it for you more a game or is it a scientific uh, approach? So, how do you think about yourself or how do you think about the work? Uh, I, I don't think I'm scientific at all. I wouldn't say, you know, there's so many people say, hey, what is ah, science and art and oh, yeah, 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 so these <laughs> kind of things. I, I don't say at all. I say maybe some of my artworks are between, uh, let's say, um, something like a game or, or playing uh, art and sports <laughs> because, <laughs> because, uh, yeah, because sometimes uh, you really have to be strong like to come out from the, these human traps you really have to be strong and you have to be brave and you have to have uh, muscles and something like this and there was also another artwork where I, uh, I found a, a strange object uh, which can, could be hanged on, on the uh, and nearly anything, maybe a tree or maybe other other places, and two people could, could climb on it, and they could uh, they could in a in a sporting way uh, they could, could achieve balance uh, yeah, yeah, with yeah. each other. Or even if one of them is much uh, bigger or smaller or and like this, and um, like there is also a, a kind of um, yeah, so kind of I I, I made a. Uh, um, also, this between artists and creators and uh, and uh, art historians and, uh, and like it was exhibited also in, in art market where uh, uh, people uh, could uh, have like the, the viewers could go there and ask one of the artists, hey, come here and let's uh, make this balance uh, with, with each other or something. And so it, what, it was a kind of playful, playful uh, way uh, that people people could, could um, uh, interact, but on the other hand, to, to, to become in a state of mind where they can speak more easily, mm -hmm. because uh, after uh, this kind of uh, playing and, uh, and, uh, and what I really like to have some humor inside and to, that I could, um, I could uh, uh, laugh and people could laugh sometimes, yeah. but not in every artwork, some, some artworks. Oh yeah, but so it has a kind of uh, basic uh, uh, approach. Uh, I think also this uh, idea to connect people uh, that sometimes you need people, two people to to really experience uh, the artwork and so on. Yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, also coming back to, to the, the spaceship and uh, here at our place, uh, it is also a kind of uh, thinking about communication. So you can't go there, but they are maybe coming 
so this distance, what you have, it uh, is part of the work in a way, or yeah, uh, exactly. in the way up that you have to move, you have to follow the the street, and often people for the first time they you know start to read only after some of the plates because then they realize that this is something uh, else and not only the parking place uh, uh, symbol and uh, so they will read it again when they come back and uh, so it's uh, yeah it's uh, really uh, something what uh, fits very well in this kind of idea of art that uh, it's connected to people but it has also forms so what i see so it's not most of your works are not uh, uh, just uh, whatever structures of society or something. So you have always, or mostly you have objects, those have their own quality as well. So when you see the sculpture of the sheep, so you can talk about this as well in a very formal uh, way that how is it made, how is it uh, getting uh, the forms of kind of utopic uh, science fiction ideas uh, connecting with our tradition with uh, these facts with at all with, you know, to having animals around but they are uh, you know so not really living animals animals anymore but still they have this cuteness so it's a lot of uh, different uh, levels i think in that these artworks uh, are uh, affecting uh, the visitors so that is for me a very very big value for this one Thank you. Yeah, on the, on the other hand, what I really liked is uh, that these um, uh, spaceships were put outside uh, of the Shafu garden, that people could go uh, um, near the garden, no, nobody um, jumped the garden because it's quite hard, it's quite big, and the fence, yeah, yeah, they could uh, see from different angles, you know, the, the, let's say, sculptures or installations, but they could see it from, so, so it was also, um, Looking at the artwork, it was also a process. Yeah. So it was not like, okay, I see, oh, I understood and I'm go going. Um, so it, they, they really have to go around and try to look a little bit like... Oh yeah, it's this uh, desire actually. Because it's because yeah. of the shining, uh, you cannot sometimes usually see the form. And that's uh, why I think it's also... Yeah. And not only that, so it's this desire you want to... You know, you see it, it looks interesting, so it looks almost like a treasure. So you want to go there, but you cannot. I mean, that is one uh, basic uh, feeling for you when I think that they really want to, 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 to get there and see it, maybe have it. And that's why maybe because we have maybe to come... Maybe they have with it. <laughs> yeah, for example, it. so that was uh, maybe we come slowly to the end, so I could say it's different in the moment. So if people come to Schafhof, to the center of art uh, of the, the district council of Upper Bavaria, then you can see the spaceship, one spaceship here in the gallery space. You can go around. You can, no, you mustn't touch it, but you almost could touch it if there maybe uh, our people are not looking that uh, close. But so it's really great to that you are able to approach it. But of course, you you lose the dimension that you cannot. But now, for these uh, two months, uh, everybody is invited to come here to see the exhibition, New Beginnings, a cooperation uh, with the City Museum in Freising and uh, the uh, Center of Art from, the, from Upper Bavaria. Yeah, so I think we come close to the end already. I could talk and I could listen to you and to your project even uh, more. But uh, you have a very good website, you have projects on Instagram with uh, real, uh, how could I say, uh, reality that uh, you photographed like it would be an artwork and so on. So there are a lot of things to explore uh, in the internet on, on your website as well. Uh, for us, uh, for Output 13, I would like to thank my colleague Julian Kistler who is doing uh, the research and the technique and uh, we are working together on the concept and I'm very happy uh, that you are here and uh, I would like to give you the last word of course uh, Chongor uh, Sigeti from Budapest from Hungary uh, and uh, taking part with uh, one of his projects uh, in the exhibition New Beginners 
project, a sculpture or a group of sculptures, uh, those are part of the sculpture garden here of the uh, Bezirk Oberbayern of the District Council of Upper Bavaria. So, please, you have the last words for this. Okay, uh, so what like, I would like to say that tomorrow morning they will be ready, the, the next generation, three more pieces. And, uh, and I really would like to travel with them to go to the space and uh, that together we could uh, install them there. Maybe um, we also invite people for an uh, artist talk, which is, which is not online, but, uh, but we could meet uh, people. And I'm really curious about, uh, about the locals' um, uh, thoughts about, about it and how, what's their opinion, because maybe, maybe they have seen the, the before how it looked like and how it looks like now. So, so yeah, it would be really nice to, to meet there and, and to make together also the installation because that's so a funny thing to do. Yeah, so I, I would be happy to welcome you again and we try to make a, 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 a date, a, a possibility to meet you uh, in person. Uh, we can do that outside, even in this time, with distance, uh, we still have uh, can have a, a very uh, uh, interesting, fruitful meeting, uh, talking and uh, we have a live feed here actually, so if people are very quick, they could write something, but I think the best is maybe to let comments later on, because this uh, live stream or this uh, video footage will be visible uh, on our website and on the YouTube channel, so you can let their uh, comments. I also would be or I'm always interested to see uh, uh, the reaction of uh, our visitors from all kinds and uh, we know that uh, even the artist doesn't know everything about uh, the art pieces, so it's yeah, one way. It's, sure. it's interesting to see how you came to that conclusion, but uh, you know there are a lot of possibilities to think about and to to talk about and to feel about and uh, that is interesting uh, for us as well and for you i guess so please uh, give us uh, reactions give us feedback uh, yeah hope to see you hope to see our uh, brothers and sisters uh, sister sheep here uh, <laughs> later <laughs> on the uh, field again or wherever we will put them <laughs> so yeah, thank you very much for you being thank here. You too. And yeah. yeah, hope to see you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye bye. bye, -bye.